Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to finally be reacting to Morissette's performance from the Asia Song Festival in 2018. I took a poll on my community tab to see what video y'all were most anxious for me to get out uh, since I ran out of Morissette reactions. And this one won by a landslide. Panagini came in second and then the rest of them just sort of fell into place, like however. So those are gonna be the first two videos that go out and then the other ones will come out you know, later. I'm really excited about this one. I know that she sings a song called Resignation. I don't know that song and I don't know what the other song is that she sings, but either way I'm excited. So let's just, let's just jump into this reaction. Throwback, okay. I haven't heard this song yet. Her performance on the Wish Bus is on my list, so. Oh, okay. We're just gonna start throwing whistle notes out. That's cool. A little throwback, yeah. Baby, can we go a little throwback? A little throwback, a little throwback, yeah. Baba Lee, Baba Lee, Baba Lee. Has like a Jesse J vibe to it. I think it's just how the vocal is. Um, like, because Jesse J and the songs I'm familiar with anyway, she does this like aggressive thing with her voice, but it like, it does like this. I don't know the term that I'm trying to, to get out, but she like, the, like the way the music goes and the vocals, it just kind of does this like wave feel, like the way she sings. Also, her hair is very. Ariana Grande-esque with the half a half down and curls. Also like a old school Mariah Carey look. And then this bedazzled outfit she's wearing. I'm really digging the flare pants. It's giving me Selena vibes, particularly the 1995 Astrodome concert. I'll put a picture here in case you don't know what I'm talking about. That's, that's cool. The way she's rapping, the phrasing, and where she decides to take breaths is also very Jessie J sounding. Hmm. And I, I think I've read in the comments that Jessie J is an influence on her. So it makes sense that she would have a song that has like a Jessie J vibe to it. But this is, this sounds like it was heavily influenced uh, by Jessie J. So I was just looking for a translation of this song. I can't find one anywhere. I'm assuming that the performance on the wish bus there should be a translation 
So I'm not sure what she's saying in this performance, but I like the song. So let's just keep going. The audience and seems to like her a little more with this performance. <laughs> My name is Morissette and I am from the Philippines! And I am so happy to be back here for Asia Song Festival. Thank you so much for having me again. That first song I just sang is one of my originals, original Filipino music entitled Throwback. I hope you guys like that song. While I was looking for a translation, I saw that it features KZ Tendingen. So was that on the original release of the song or is that like, did they do like a remix of it? Cause that'd be interesting to see them do that live. 필리핀 앨범 수록곡인 Throwback이라는 곡인데요. 여러분이 모두 좋아하셨을 거라고 믿습니다. Thank you. <laughs> this next song that Korean I would like so to pretty. share with all of you, I wanted to challenge myself and do something I've never really done before. 다음 곡은 저의 도전 정신으로 좀 새로운 시도를 해보려고 하는데요. When I first heard this song, it really brought me to tears. 제가 이 곡을 처음 들었을 때 정말 눈물이 날것 같은 기분이 들었어요. Um, a friend of oh, no, mine, a Korean friend actually suggested this song to me, but he is based in my country and um, I decided to put my own twist to this song. 이 곡은 제 한국인 친구가 추천해 준 곡인데 약간의 색다른 시도를 해 보았습니다. This is originally by the powerhouse Lee Young Hyun and I hope that you would like my rendition of this song. 네, 모두가 잘 알고 계신 이영현 님의 노래입니다. 잘 들어주세요. And I do have a translation up on my screen in case she sings in a different language other than English. Ooh, girl, I better not cry. You fell for me and 
Um, I have this translation of the song, but it has like English, Filipino, and Korean like all mixed up. And where it said it was supposed to be uh, Filipino, it wasn't, and so I was confused. Um, she just kept singing in English, and then at the very, very bottom, it said Korean, and I was like, "Well, she's been singing in English this whole time. I don't think she'd switch it up now." But then she did. That's so cool. She decided to sing a piece of it in Korean because I know that the song festival is in South Korea. So that's really cool that she decided to sing a piece of it in Korean. That's just, that's nice of her. I thought it was fun. <sighs> I just, I kind of went back to a, a talent show that I was in in high school. I decided to sing a Christina Aguilera song because I thought I was big and bad. I could handle a Christina Aguilera song and I decided to sing I Turn to You and I was only like 15 and if there's a Spanish version of a song I'm gonna find it and of course she had a Spanish version of that song because she had released her Spanish album Mi Reflejo and she basically did all the all the songs that were released as singles 
in the U.S. she did Spanish versions of. Um, and then she had like some original Spanish songs and a couple cover songs that were in Spanish. Um, but of course I turned to you as one of them and for a split second while I was on stage, I thought about singing the bridge in Spanish. And then at the last minute, like the bridge was coming and I was thinking like, do I do it? Do I do it? And I was like, mm, no, <laughs> I got scared that I would mispronounce something or not offend anybody, but I just thought I would, I just thought I would mispronounce something or it would come off kind of weird. So I didn't do it. I ended up singing it in, all in English, but, oh, uh, that was so cool. Actually, thinking about it now, um, her her Asia Song Festival from 2018, she also had a very Selena-inspired look with the the way it was crossed over. That was also a very Astrodome look from 1995 that she did. That's fun. So she actually has reminded me of Selena before. I totally forgot about that. Oh... <sighs> But I think I'm going to have to wrap this video up. I think I've just been talking and talking forever. Um, I really liked this performance. Um, but did they have one for 2019? And if so, was Morissette still the Philippine representative? Or did they have somebody else? Because if she was there in 2019, I need to see that performance next. Or at least soon. But I'm going to call this video done. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!